are all familiar with the simple liquid and gas thermometer. As the air warms up, so does the liquid in the tube. Substances typically expand when they warm up, so the liquid rises into the tube, reading a higher temperature. Conversely, the liquid contracts when the temperature drops, reading a lower temperature. So, this simple but very effective thermometer design is based on a fundamental physical property. The same goes for electronic thermometers, but the underlying physical property is perhaps less well known. It is called Ohm's Law. It states that if you run a constant electrical current through a piece of material but change the material's resistance, the voltage across the piece of material will change. If you use a material whose resistance depends on temperature, you are good to go. All you have to do is measure the changing voltage. Find out how it depends on temperature by a process known as collaboration, and there's your thermometer. The Mesonet weather stations use a primary temperature probe known as Resistance Temperature Dictator, or RTD for short. The backup thermometer sensor is called a thermistor. They work the same way, except the materials used are different. The probe is wired to a data logger, which provides the probe with a constant current, measures the voltage changing across the circuit, converts the measured voltage to a temperature value, and stores the temperature values. The temperature values are then transmitted to a computer on USA's campus via the internet. The advantages of electronic thermometers are that one, they are very accurate, two, they work automatically and continuously, and three, the data logger allows the data to be recorded. Therefore, no human observers are needed. This way, you don't have to go outside every hour or more to read the temperature or hire someone to go do it for you. Furthermore, humans can make mistakes reading a thermometer. Electronic thermometers are perfect for measuring temperature in a remote or inhospitable places, such as the deserts or polar regions, or in dangerous conditions, for example, when a hurricane makes landfall. The disadvantages of an electronic thermometer are the price. They require power to run, they are complicated to install, you need to wire the sensor to a data logger, program the data logger, transmit the data to a computer, and so forth. And they need to be collaborated about every two years. Liquid and gas thermometers, on the other hand, are cheap but do not require power, are easy to install, and do not require collaboration. Mm -hmm.